Hello, everyone, and welcome back to some more Bummer Crew. Let us gather round, my not-so-headless horseman of the apocalypse, for a spooky story. A tale of jets that fly faster than any craft with a propeller ever has, that carry explosive rockets that they can fire at us. Ooh. So, yeah. Bomber, Bomber Crew's had an update, I had some episodes backlogged, so I couldn't get to it immediately, but we've updated the plane a little bit, because it's all hallows tonight, so I figured we're going to spookify the plane a little bit, we've got a nice pumpkin spice paint for tonight, we've got a vampire bat as our mascot, our engines are screaming skulls, and we've got pumpkins on the wings, because why not? Oh, and of course, this entire bomber is too spooky for Jerry, you know. We have to warn them in advance. So, without further ado, the not-so-headless horsemen of the apocalypse are gonna have to fly out in their Lancaster and bomb some things. We've got La Coupole over here, we've got oil storage at Bremen, we've got a TNT drop to the Resistance, and we've got Landing Beaches Recon. I want to do this one. Because it seems like a thing our spooky crew would do on the old spooky, spooky night. But first, we're going to drop some TNT to the resistance to get flak operations down for two missions. I'm feeling we might want to do this. Then the recon. And then we're going to do Operation Overlord if it shows up. Because let's be honest. Landing Beaches Recon in preparation for the Allied Invasion. The next, we all know what the next critical op is going to be. Let's go do it. My not-so-headless horseman. Ooh. Ah, yeah, right. We can apparently control time now, so that's a thing. And we've got some hotkeys! That's gonna take some getting used to. Not that I mind. Like, I like it. You know? I'm kinda used to not having them by now, so... We'll see. We will see. I haven't played in a couple of days, so... Expect me to be rusty, and that might end up killing us. Supplies must be dropped from low altitude. The container has a parachute. It will drift. It okay, so basically a supply drop mission. Except vive la resistance! Oui, oui, mon ami. Right, there we go. I'm familiarized again. I know what I'm doing again. It's fine. Gotta get used to the fact that there's hotkeys now. I don't... I don't mind. I, in fact, quite like it. But yeah, apparently we can also now slow down time a little bit, if we so choose. Which is cool, you know. I'm happy that that's a thing now. Give people choice. It's optional, you don't have to use it. I'm gonna try not to use it, because darn it, we have been so used to not using it by now. I think we can take it. Reach medium altitude. We can apparently now... I was about to say, we can apparently navigate through the clouds now. Oh. And we fight us a spot on radar. Right. We're not even over the channel yet. We're barely now. Yeah, we are literally now over the channel. There we go. Didn't take them very long. But that's fine. Focus incendiary, because these guys don't need to reach us now, do they? like prop fighters to me oh yeah you don't want to fly right at us buddy that's a health hazard get him Sarge oh those 50s in the rear useful right start radioing for recon Ooh. He's getting used to the camera controls again sorry about that there we go they're done Apparently you took a minor scrap of damage. Optional recon spotted. Oh, hello. We know what we're doing on our way back. Yeah, there you are. We've got no visibility again. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, where were we roughly meant to be? I don't know. Take us down to low altitude, I guess. Oh, there's Raider over there. 
Let's try not to get inside its range, although it, it's probably already too late, let's be honest. Well, let's... Blackfire? I guess? Oh, there's a lot of optional recon here, holy crap! We've been spotted on enemy radar, there's another enemy radar over there, Jesus Christ! Oh, well, might as well have at it then. Let's go do the optional recon while we're here. Because we're meant to be over there, but you know. Actually, yeah, just go there first. It's fine. We're already getting spotted by this radar, let's be honest. Do we have any blips on the radar yet? No, not yet. Looks like we found a mission area, judging by the flak. Holy crap. Another enemy radar up front. Wow. It's bloody full, isn't it? There's a lot of searchlights as well. It's almost like they were expecting us, which is weird. I'm gonna be honest, you know, supply drops are usually well hidden. Ah, there we go. Remember to drop the supplies from low altitude. Yes, sir. You know, they'd advertise on the... Uh, well, not advertise, but... BBC used to run, like, messages before actual shows and whatnot. It would be things like, Pierre says hello. I, I swear to God, I clicked the button. You you saw me click the button, but for some reason it didn't drop. But yeah, there would be messages like, Pierre says hello, and that would be a signal for, like, a certain resistance cell that, hey, your goodies are coming in. You know, make sure to collect them at the designated point or whatever, like these guys are doing here now. There you go. Now we're gonna do some optional recon. Oh, we've been spotted by a surge light, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's safe to say they've seen us. I like the difference here though, that they actually need to use search lights now. I'm not sure if that's been introduced in the patch, I probably should have read the patch notes. But I am a derp, you see. I am silly. Oh boy. Well, we see the optional recon over there at least. What I'll do in between, like, this mission and the next one, I'll go read the patch notes because, you know, I'm silly like that. Oh, that's a... yeah, that's a big one. Thankfully, he's being hit hard. So we are fine. Long stroke, get on the uh, picture taker. Yes, the picture taker. That is precisely what it was called. That is the technical term. I invented it specifically for the Royal Air Force. There we go. And that on. Use all the things, why not? Super Sarge. I know there's a hotkey now, I'm still not used to it. That's just gonna be a fact of life. Let's... yeah, let's hit them hard. Op second optional recon's right over there. I wanna do it, because money. Money is nice. We've got enough fuel. Like, we've got a ton of fuel. Oh, only one of those got tagged, so make sure to tag them. There we go, I'm back in the flow of things now. Looks like normal Jerry fighters. They might not have seen us. Well, we've got Spitfires coming in now, so that's gonna throw that into the... Yeah, that'll be fun. There we go. No, sir, we're not quite done yet. We're gonna tally up the optional recon. Yes. Really marvelous. Hello there, chaps. France is beautiful this time of night, isn't it? Gotta say, I like the fact that Flak isn't omniscient anymore. Actually makes flying at low altitude viable at night. And we can just coast along to our optional recon. She's like, hello! We're here to spook you. Trick or treat! They've got a lot of treats, I'm gonna be honest. Like a lot of treats. We didn't even need our time slowing down thing. You know, this is also how it historically went. Like, if you dodge radar and whatnot, there's no way they're gonna see you. 
Unless they're like using the surge lights and whatever. So it'd be a lot harder for them to actually like, you know, get a beat on you. Like send fighters your way, that sort of thing. This is why the Royal Air Force primarily works at night. Unlike the Americans, they did the day bombing. They took a lot more casualties as well. Coincidence? I think not. Well, chaps, looks like they're keeping the Jerry cabbage crates occupied. Let's hit some AP ammo. Oh my. That's a heavy fighter, so yeah. AP ammo is actually useful there. I'm just using it so that he has unlimited ammo for a bit, but sure, you know, that works. Get him, fire fan. Oh, look at that. Look at that, lovely stuff. And that one pops as well. Oh, something broke. It's a bit of a shame. Right, chaps. Takes up the medium altitude. We're getting out of here. We've got all the optional stuff. Marvelous work. Super surge. Get some ammo. Hotkeys are nice, but, you know, it's gonna take me an episode or two to get used to them. But, you know, that happens. There's no button to return to station, is there? I don't think so. A shame. We've got 12 minutes of fuel left. Frankly, I think we'll be fine. Get the boost. Yeah, we're heading over the channel now, it's fine. Yeah, we're gonna use the fuel very fast, but we still need to descend to low altitude, so we're gonna get a little bit of extra fuel out of that. We've got lean if we need it. You know, I just wanna go a little bit faster. Because there's no time acceleration where you're not overbitten itself. Hit the things, because I like hitting them. But no, we're, we're fine. We're out of trouble. See, we've got 13 minutes of fuel left. We have more fuel left than when we boosted. Imagine that. Take it down to low altitude again. There's the old England. Hit the boost because now we have 20 minutes left because we're going back down to low altitude. Oh, so nice. Get us home, pilot. Which is me. Get us home, me. That works. We had a very successful night of trick or treating, you know. Only took minor damage. Nothing to worry about. Alright then. Back in time for team medals. And a lot of money. Because holy crap, two optional recon. You know, we're flying to Normandy, we might as well take some pictures. Ali ho chaps, welcome back. Good to see you again. The Resistance appreciates your work! Vive la Resistance! There we go. TNT drop the Resistance is a success. We get... 8k just for doing the mission. No slow time bonus, you know. That's worth a lot. A whole 320! It, it's an optional thing. It, this is there as a small reward, I imagine, just to be like, Hey, you didn't use that! Well done! You know, it's, it's not gonna be a deal-breaker. Optional recon, however! Woohoo! That's the real trick-or-treating. And level-ups! We're not gonna get many. We only got, like, 3k? Less than 3k XP? Slightly below that? Yeah. That <laughs> doesn't do much. We get some extra crew gear, though. Heavy flag vests. I want to take a look at those. I think they might have more armor, but... You know... My gunners will never move again. Nope. Nope. Still not better than a tough and survival vest. It's like, yeah, you have no survival chance, but too thermal. Too thermal, huh? huh? You also move very slow. I wonder what the Heavy Flank Fast Mark III is like. Still crap, probably, but... I don't know. It's there. 
Right, aircraft systems. We get oxygen mark two. It breaks less often. Huzzah. Uh, hydraulics. I could get electrical to be always reliable, but it's gonna weigh like 400, which is a bit silly. When I say a bit, I mean very much so. I might want to upgrade fuselage a bit, but then again, gun turrets as well. I don't think I can upgrade these for the moment. Ah yeah, we were waiting for the uh, even better 50 cals on the ventral. That'll be fun. The, the dorsal, amazing as well. We could get a double 50 cal in there, but it actually does a lot less damage. But it also doesn't weigh a whole lot. You know. Nose gun. I'm fine with the nose gun staying the 303 times 2 Mark III. Because it has the most ammo and it's the hardest one to re restock on ammo. So we're just going to keep that. It's also the most optional one. Aside from like the ventral never getting used. Uh, let's armor the plane a bit, I guess. Is there any visual difference between the Mark III and the Mark IV? I don't think so, but... More armor is more good, yes. It's 500 extra health there, that's pretty good. Get the front in there as well. It's heavy, but by god is it useful. Armor everything! Yes! Right! I'm gonna read the patch notes, I'll be back in a, a jiffy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. They introduced hotkeys, slow time, they've rebalanced the difficult, uh, the death spiral a bit, so it's, you know, less brutal. That's always appreciated. So, let's get back into it, I guess. We've got beaches to recon. Alright, we've got ammo dump at Bruges. Enemy damage down for two missions, that's tempting. But there's an ace in the area. The raid on Juvencourt Airfield, enemy armor down. Oil storage at Bremen. I'm gonna go for the landing beaches recon. In order, in preparation for the Allied invasion, you are to photograph the enemy's defenses. Avoid detection by radar, but stay above the AA guns. We must retain the element of surprise. We can do that. Get ammo, get ammo, get ammo. You take the medium altitude and take off. There we go, I'm getting used to the things again, lovely. You can also just tap shift. Like I've been doing for like half this series. To quickly look inside. And it's so useful. Raise the gear, thank you. <laughs> ammo immediately flies to the back. Thank god for that dividing wall. Which... You know, over time I've started to see the merits of it, but still, it's kind of annoying. Super Sarge, can you get down in that turret and then reload please? There we go. Would have been fun if the crew could slowly level up, like athleticism and walk a bit faster, that sort of thing, but eh, it's fine. It's a fun game as it is, don't, don't worry about me. So, we've got to take three recon pictures. Navigation is difficult through the clouds. Reach medium altitude. Is that thunder? Oh no, it's just the clouds. I was about to say, it took me a while to figure out what that noise is. Jerry props ahead, I think. Yeah, they're not moving fast enough to be anything special. I want to try bombing those radar sites. Do you think we can bomb them? Let's try it. Because we've probably got bombs on us anyway. Because, you know, we are a bomber. Let's hit the focus. Because when they fly dead at us, they should be dead. Yeah, like that guy. Oh, let's, let, let, you know, let's not fire at the guy flying directly at us. Why would we do that? That would be silly. Ah. That actually worked. Fair enough. Open the bomb bay doors. We're gonna try this. 
Seems like we're clear. It's going to be fun to try and bomb them. I have no idea if that works or not. Oh, crap. That's fast. No, that's not fast. Never mind. Gotta say, I like the hotkey. It's useful. Ow. Nice. Well done. Good shooting, Super Sarge. Uh, we're not flying. Yeah, we're not flying towards something. We're bombing. But yeah, it's showing us the radar sights on the ground now, which is useful, I guess. Fire fan, clear our tail. Much appreciated. Uh, right, long stroke. Get ready to take a picture. That on all the things. Intel photograph is taken, apparently. Cool. Open the Bombay doors. Let's see if we can get this radar sight. We spotted optional recon this time. Bombs away! Take that, you radar sight! Yeah. Don't like that now, do you? Where's the last recon? I don't know. Let's head to that. That's an optional bombing thing. We can get XP for it, so, you know. Doors are closed again. Get you on the thing. Oh, those are Spitfires! tally -o, chaps! We've got some cabbage crates coming in. Do please take care of them. Well, we might have some minor cloud cover coming in. But nothing that'll prevent me from bombing you! Boom. Fighters being shot down, how lovely. Ow. They're hurting us, somewhat. You're out of ammo. There's something else to bomb over there, so that's good. Very nice. I'm not sure, I think this is optional recon by now. And it worked, cool. Tried to snap the picture a little bit early, just before the clouds came in, and it worked. Yeah, let's, let's head back. I like that we can actually bomb radar though, that's cool. And it pays a heck of a lot of XP as well. What the hell, chaps? Good work! You are to be commended for a medal. No, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna fly over it, that's, that's a shame. Take us in low. Oh. Speaking of low. Oh, 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 crap! Jesus! Radio recon and auto attack, James! Put out a fire for me. Corkscrew! We've got bloody ME262 Swalbers on our ass! Those are big jets! They're very dangerous, they've got 30mm cannons. Plot course to home. We're leaving now. Ditch the bombs just in case. On the thing now. Go. Super Sarge is down. Requesting med. Yeah. I know I get that. Get out of there, BBS. Nanon. Kit. We're getting shot to. Oh crap. Get out of there! Ooh! I wasn't kidding when I said they have rockets! I wasn't kidding! Jesus Christ! Right, Nanon, help up Super Sarge. Bloody hell. So that was the ME-262, also known as the Swallow, or Swalbe in German. And 
has rockets. Holy crap. That was not good. That was not good at all. And here I was thinking our big guns were enough, but nope. Those jets move so fast you have limited time to shoot them, and they are very brutal. We are alive, however. That is a thing they will never be able to take away from us until they do. 5200 experience, though, for bombing some extra radar sites. That was really good. Wow. Lower the gear. Yeah, that was really brutal. Well done to the Germans, I guess. This side of the plane is just shredded. Thankfully, we were able to evade those rockets, thanks to timely altitude changes and just telling them to piss off. Whew, that could have gone a whole lot worse. No comments this time, though. But still. The Germans, you know, they did their parts. They partook in the uh, trick or treating. This was the trick. Previous mission was the treat. There we go. One optional recon, though. And we did the mission, so that's good. Now give us that sweet, sweet experience. Oh, we can level up on a navigator and fire fan. Longstroke has incendiary now. Very nice. Lightweight fuselage. <laughs> Who uses lightweight when we need armor? Seriously. If you don't armor... We have things armored up to the max. They went through it like it was nothing. Nothing. Everything is Mark IV. The mid and main rear... We're just gone. Instantly, almost. Oh, that's just a flat upgrade. Just a flat upgrade, you say? Well, yes, I will go for that. Thank you very much. If it doesn't take any weight, I am on board for it. Radar. Ooh, 250 extra range and minus one sweep time. So it's only going to take three seconds for us to rotate and be able to spot more things. That's interesting. I don't think we need to upgrade the oxygen, it doesn't break often. We don't fly at high altitude for too long, and we have the bottles. I think that's not really a problem we have to deal with. Now this turret. I don't know. I'm really tempted to go for the 303 Mark III times 4 with ammo feed. Once we get up to the required intel for that. It's going to be heavy as all hell. I'm not sure if this plane is going to be able to carry it, but it's going to be funny. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be daka daka daka. And that's what we want. This gun works lovely as it is. Honestly, it's the guns that take up like half the half the weight on the craft. Though I like having the uh, armored and standard engines, I'm going to be honest. They do a good job. They do a real good job. And even then, we can still be murdered instantly. I'm going to go for the radar upgrade. It doesn't even change visually, but it's so useful. That sweep time increase by 25%. Oof. It's good. Now, here's the thing. Do I want a secondary skill on my pilot? Finally. Because it's like, yeah, we need one more skill and we're halfway there. I'm going to wait. Screw that. We don't need it yet, do we? Uh... Is there anything else? Like, we've upgraded all the fuselages to max, we've upgraded the equipment racks to max. Electrical systems are like the one thing that I can really upgrade. Engine extinguishers, but it, you know, like I keep saying, if we need to extinguish four engines at once, <laughs> we are beyond saving. Oxygen, eh. Fuel tanks are already maxed. Gun turrets are the way I want them. Yeah, let, let's... I think we can do one more mission. With this... Halloween setup. Let's check them out, shall we? What is up on the board? Operation Overlord. This is the big one. We'll be supporting the invasion force as they take the beaches of Normandy. 
Use your bombs sparingly and be ready for anything. Good luck. There's an ace in the mission area. I'm not gonna do it with an ace in the mission area. Nuh-uh. Search and rescue. Ace in the area. Raid on Jovencourt. Oil storage at Bremen. Short duration, high risk. Gets enemy armor down so they're easier to kill. I kind of want to use the flak operations for norm for the Normandy landings, but not if there's an enemy ace. So we're going to go do the raid on the Juvencourt airfield. Right, let's do the usual. Get ammo for everyone. Still trying to get used to hotkeys, but, you know, it's getting there. Right, start us up. Take us to medium altitude. Where do we need to go? Right over there. I think we might actually try to go up to high altitude then. Just for that. Let's get the tag, raise the gear. Hit the lean so we don't have to worry about fuel as much. That would be glorious. We're just gonna take ourselves up to high altitude, that's fine. Uh, could you do the f Could you grab the ammo for me? Ooh, we're getting reports that an enemy ace pilot Francisca Festung is in the area. We haven't seen her before. At least it sounds like a she, I don't know. I'm fine with female aces in the game. Enemy fighters on radar, right. Cabbage crates over there. Still trying to get up to the uh, medium... Uh, I think we're past medium... Yeah, we're past medium altitude now, so we're trying to get up to high. Longstroke, could you do me a favor, get on the ventral temporarily? I know it's not, you know, a thing we do normally, but hey, that's fine. That kind of went out the window long ago, didn't it? There we go. Since we're not going to use the frontal gun very often, I'd rather use it on you. There we go, we'll get the focus in there. These seem to be just the regular fighters that can't really do anything. Let's start radioing for recon. Yeah, they can't fly up to us. Or well, they can apparently. We're just doing we're just doing a terrible job of shooting them down. We are starting to feel a little bit of the cold. There's a lot of flak below our altitude. Oh my god, it's, some of it's coming up to us. Enemies over there, that's fine. Lean's recharged. We are a 1 minute 30 away. We've got two optional recons in the area as well. Take me down to low altitude. I suppose. All ammo belts are used. Right. Go for the refuel there. Go for the rearm then. Not the refuel. I mean, extra fuel would be nice too, but... Ah, plenty. Let's hit focus incendiary on Super Sarge. He's going to be able to do a lot of damage. We're trying to fix the things that are breaking. Focus on long strokes ready to use. Now is a good time, I think. There's optional recon. I'm not going to go for that. That seems contrary to what we'd like right now. You're going to get in there. I'm going to BBS into the ventral now. James, I'm gonna need you to put out that engine fire. Actually, no, never mind. Go for the emergency dive, that'll put it out. We're good. Spotlights over there. There's enemy planes coming in again. There's the target that we're coming for. One more fighter over there. Okay, let's get him. Fire fan, now's a good time to focus. Long stroke. Pair bomb by doors. You're running low on ammo, let's get some then. Nanon, auto attack, call spitfires. That's the ace, alright. We're gonna be in hot water now then. Bombs away, close doors. Into the station, takes up to medium altitude, get us out of the flak. Ah! I have you on my sights, consider that an honor. I will catch you in my web of fear, lumbering louts. There's the Spitfires coming in from Blighty. It's about really time too. Super Sarge, focus AP ammo. She's flying a JO-88. 
JU88s are bad news. James, mechanic for me, please. BVS needs to rearm. Hit lean. Uh, that engine just died, okay. She's sticking on her bum. I don't like that. She's flying upside down. Bloody hell. Corkscrew for me, will ya? Enemy fighter destroyed, very nice. Super Sarge. You're gonna go down soon, aren't you? That's okay. Hit focus incendiary. Take it. That's black evasion, but yeah. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Lovely. Focus incendiary. Yeah, there we go. How could a bumbling bomber best my beautiful fighter? This is an outrage. Yep. Yep. Okay. Time to take stock of the situation. We are alive. Despite their best efforts. BVS, I want you to quickly grab a parachute. Takes up to medium altitude. We should fix the engine for me. Uh, you can get back on navigating now, because we need a navigation update. Let's go for the optional recon, because we have time. There we go. I've got you on the thing, because I'd like that to be fixed, but, you know, it's not critical. I might try and bomb some radar on the way back to get some more experience, now that we know that that's a thing. Cool. Get back inside. Spitfires are returning to base. They did a lovely job. You need to go lie down. BBS, take point on the uh, dorsal. And hit some focus as well, why not? Let's shred these poor guys. We've got optional recon right there, I like it. Uh, we're clear. They're dead. Right, ready for recon then. Take me down to the low, just to increase the odds, you know, we could take a 75% chance, but why not? Take all of it. Holy crap. Oh yeah, right, that's the second recon thing. Cool. I was about to say, is there a third optional recon? Because if so, oh wow. Give me an auto tag. I'm going to be lazy for a minute. And a focus is in the area. Let's give him a good burst. Wow. Cool stuff there. Back down to low. Restock that. Is that more coming in? Yeah, that is more coming in. Cool. Let's get out of here. I like the increased sweep time. It's so good. Hit him with the focus. They'll get some shots off, but that's fine. It's not the end of the world. Fix electronics. So we're about to go into some hot areas. You know what? Let's try to bomb some stuff on the way back. We've got four sets of bombs left, right? Right. There's gonna be flak and whatnot. Take me right over there. I'm actually a bit to the left. Open doors. Okay, bombing flak does not do anything. I mean, I figured as much, but then at the same time, it we did bomb the radar stations. Uh, now would be a lovely time for a fade flak, by the way. Let me fight a spot on radar. Do some auto tagging for me. Super Sarge, you should be getting out of there now. I'll refill that. You know, I'll refill the, the turrets with ammo. That's fine. And then get you back on station. They might not have seen us. Which is fair enough. Open doors, hit the lean. Just get rid of them. You know, I'm sure the channel won't mind. Medium altitude, yeah. Nothing to bomb for us today, apparently. Still, we got it out of there with like 6k experience. Took down an enemy ace. Should have checked on the list. 
I imagine we're getting a nice reward for that. And we did the two optional recons, so yeah. Ooh. Our crate's a bit damaged, but uh, I've seen worse. This is nothing. Trust me. So, skedaddle down to low, if you will. We don't need to heal, no need to worry about that. Back over England so nobody's gonna bother us. Radio for recon, we'll call for some Spitfires, they'll escort us home. Lovely stuff, everyone. Keep an eye open, there we go, there's the home base. And in come the bloody Spitfires, how marvellous. Both gears love to come down, as I appreciate them doing. And there we go. The target for tonight has had a spooky day. Right, we are alive. Escorted by our most British of fighters. Oh man, they're approaching stall speed. There we go. Enemy armor down for two missions. Francisca Festung, 12 grand. Not bad. No slow time bonus. Two optional recons, another 10k. We're up to 45 grand in the bank. We're gonna get a level 9 mechanic now. And possibly a level 11 gunner, which is sweet. Yep, lovely. Hopefully that means a bit more accuracy. I think one more level until the pilot is max level. I'm not sure. You can just see the difference in, like, taking a secondary skill or not. It means, like, half a level at level 11, so... Yeah. Firefan is kind of struggling because he decided to take up engineering as well, but it's gonna be useful for the crew. So there is that. Armored Fuselage Mark V. Well, we've got the money for it. Alright. We can easily do it. And in fact, I think I will. It's gonna cost another 150 in weight, Jesus Christ. There we go, we can only afford to do that! Unless we take the armored engines and turn them into standard engines, we'll get another 500 in weight? I, I kinda want to, cause the fuselage armor is good and I like it. I'd like to stay alive, you know. I mean, the front, mid, and rear are gonna be the most important, after which I'll probably go for tail. Wing? I haven't had a wing fall off yet. Nose? Maybe slightly less critical? I think we'll just stick with this for now. Because I do really love the idea of having the engine super armored. Uh, the, the dorsal turret. I'm not sure when we get a lighter gun for this. Like, the Mark IV is probably gonna be somewhat heavier. We're gonna get it in one mission, which is sweet. I wanna keep the nose gun like this. Like, it's not worth downgrading it. We do use it. This would save some weight, but it will also remove so much ammo. Hmm. Actually, it's gonna do a lot more damage. Sure, the ammo is gonna go down, but we're bringing boxes to the front. It's gonna save us 50. Yeah, let's do that. We've got money, right? Yeah, we do. Fuselage, let's get the tail up to an armored fuselage Mark V. We are maxed out on our weight limit then. What's a lightweight engine Mark III do? Ooh. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. But that is where we'll be leaving it for today. I hope you enjoyed this Halloween special. The Too Spooky for Jerry. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow with probably Operation Overlord. Maybe we'll be able to do some TNT drops first to get enemy flak operations down or something. But I've heard that people say that Operation Overlord is a very difficult mission. We'll have to see but until then. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, perhaps consider supporting me over at patreon.com slash derpdigital. Or, you know, just leave a like. Perhaps a comment. That also really helps the channel and it keeps me motivated. So there you go. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will catch you all next time. Until then, 
Have a good one, folks.